I'm on a walk around the block. I'm 16 years old. Next to me is Jesse. I have got a pit of dread in my stomach. So I'd met him just days before when I was at the pawn shop. My parents were getting me a guitar and I knew that he would just be the perfect person. In middle school, when all my girlfriends were talking about kissing boys, I just like couldn't understand it. Um, but I knew it was inevitable that I would probably, probably have to kiss one. And so I started making a plan for my life. Um, I decided that I'd start at 16. I would kiss a boy at 16. So when I was 16, I didn't want it to be with somebody that I knew or like was acquaintances with or like would maybe see again. So um, yeah, when my parents were buying me this guitar, Jesse slid his number into my guitar and I was like, okay, I guess I'll call him and we'll follow up on this. So we're getting close to my house. He stops and he gives me the look. And I'm like, no, whoa, and I back away. And he goes home, but I'm embarrassed because I'm 16, I've made this plan. Like I should have probably kissed a boy already. That's how I felt. Um, so I messaged him later on MSN, go on my computer and I'm like, I'm so sorry, that was so awkward. Let's try that again. So during his lunch break the next day, he comes over to my house and we go out on a date. He takes me to Wendy's, we're sitting across from each other. Um, and then he gives me the kiss, or the look, again. This time, I let him kiss me. And I feel myself just floating out of my body and I'm like, okay, I'm kissing. I'm kissing, this is kissing, it's salty, <laughs> all right. I didn't particularly enjoy myself. Like it wasn't, it wasn't great, um, but I was like, okay, so mostly I'm thinking, so that's that. Um, he brings me home and he kisses me again. But this time he sticks his tongue in my mouth. And I'm like, ah, I think you should leave. So I kick him out of the house and I go upstairs, I wash my mouth out and I'm like, I'm never doing that again, which is a problem because at the age of four, I knew that I wanted to be a wife and a mom. And like, I needed a man to do that. I needed a man. So one year later, I'm at my first party with older teens and I'm drinking a lot. Um, and at some point I come to and I'm sitting on the couch and like this guy's face is on my face. I'm having my second kiss. Um, he asked me if I want to go upstairs, and I'm like, ha, no, absolutely not. So he wanders off. And then immediately after he wanders off, some more people come up and approach me, and they're like, are you bisexual? I'm like, that's weird. No. Why would you ask me that? But like more people approach me and ask me again. So I'm like, okay, it must be like my septum piercing, my hair, you know, like whatever. That's cool. Um, yeah, but like so weird, so random. While I don't kiss this random party guy again, I do start dating, I'm like kissing other boys, not really doing anything else, nothing more than that, absolutely nothing more than that. Um, and like when I'm kissing them, mostly feels like I'm kissing a slobbering dog. <laughs> yeah, and so after a while I break up with them. I can't really tell them why, like I don't even really know why. But you know, I just like, I let them go and I'm, I'm like eventually the right man's gonna show up. And then after a while I'm living my life, I'm on the phone with my boy Yish and uh, he starts talking about his friend Ariana. And I was like, oh, Ariana, I remember her. How's she doing? I remember I met her at the party. And he's like, yeah, you made out with her at the party. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, no way. Like I, di I definitely didn't do that. Like, I made out with that guy, Alvin. He's like, yes, also. <laughs> he probably saw you kissing a girl and was like, she'll kiss anybody. So he's talking and I'm like, huh, but I have butterflies. And I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm trying to picture it. I'm trying to put the pieces together, like remember parts of the night that I forgot. And, 
and uh, but I don't feel that dread. I feel butterflies, and I'm like smiling and I'm laughing, and a little voice in my head goes, "Hey, are you gay?" <laughs> I'm like, "That's weird." <laughs> Yeah, so I put that away. So I decide that it's time to have sex, like I'm ready, right? So I find my first lover, explain to him that I've never seen a penis before. Um, so before we do anything like sexual or anything, it's more educational, like I, I just kind of like check it out and like see what it does, cause like they do things. <laughs> So it's like educational hour and like a literal hour, okay? <laughs> yeah, so anyway, eventually, like not that day because that was just educational hour, we start having sex and it's like, I'm like, you know, it's fun, like it's novel, so like, woohoo, um, good for me. Um, but yeah, you know, it, it's fun. Uh, I date him, then someone else like, and it's whatever, nothing lasts, they're not quite right, nothing's really like vibing in the way that I feel like I need it to vibe. And then I'm 23 and I move out, and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to uh, look for my husband, it's time. <laughs> so I go on Tinder and I'm swiping and nobody's interesting, right? Like, yeah, and so each time I swipe left, I'm just like filled with disappointment and it feels like failure and I'm just so crushed, so disappointed every single time. And I cry and I'm like, what am I gonna do? I wanna be a wife and a mother. If I can't find a man, I can't do that. It's all I've ever wanted. So anyway, this guy and I, who I did meet on Tinder, go on our first date. He's cute enough. He's a musician, so like, points. Then I walk into the bar behind him, and I hate the way he walks. Then he stops walking, and I hate how he places his feet, and I'm like, this isn't gonna work. Like, I can't. <laughs> I said that to myself. I was like, you can't judge someone based on superficial things like that, especially if you're not, like, if you're trying to find a husband, like, you've got, a, you've got an end goal, right? Like, we're gonna chill on that. So as he, uh, he gets up to go to the bathroom and he like touches the small of my back and I feel a little bit of a flutter in my tummy and I'm like, oh, okay, so I can be attracted to a man. That's great, I'm not gay, thank goodness. And I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> and I put it away. Two years later, he proposes. I say yes, we get married, I'm a wife after Honestly, like only a little while, like, probably like like the next day, honestly. Um, he starts calling me his wife and I'm like, oh. <laughs> don't do that, you know? <laughs> I didn't appreciate it. Um, there's like a swelling pain though in my gut, like eventually over time. And I'm like, oh, I should, like, that's weird. That's weird, that's weird. <laughs> um, and I put that away. So I'm married and we talk about sex and you know, we talk about having a third and we never like act on it. it just doesn't feel like the right time. Cause like, you know, um, and then one day I'm hanging with a queer friend of mine and I'm just like in the kitchen with them. And I'm, I'm like, I think I want a girlfriend. And they're like, Oh, then have a girlfriend. And I was like, that's weird. It's weird that I said that. And then we moved on. A couple months later, literally a couple of months, so we're in June now, Black Lives Matter and Pride are like coinciding. And my people know my heart. I've been sharing posts and everything, but I haven't been like myself vocal, um, like in my own voice about what I stand for, what I believe in. And so I decided it was time to make a video I don't know, it just like happened, I guess. So I'm making a video and I introduced myself as a black queer woman at the time. Um, and I was like, that's weird. <laughs> but like, okay, it's probably accurate, right? I'm, I'm a black queer woman. 
So my friends are sending me messages and they're just so proud of me. They're welcoming me into the community. It's like a lot of my friends are queer at this point as well. Um, and I think, oh, maybe I should tell my husband. <laughs> so I do. And he's like, yeah, that's a thing I've known about you. And I'm like, oh, cool. Okay. So we just like, moved on. It didn't cause any issues in our relationship. Lots of other things did and had already. So, um, I, yeah, at the point at this point, I'm like, I know we're probably on the brink of breaking up. I'm talking to my therapist about it. I'm also talking about a lot of other things, like bigger things. I'm talking about something bigger. And I say, I feel like I've dealt with a lot of things. I feel like I've healed a lot of things, and yet there's just this one thing, and I. I don't know what the thing is. I don't know what it is, it's just always there. And so my therapist, as they said like multiple times throughout our sessions, it had been like two years of me being in sessions with them, they were like, so what do you think it is? And I said, I think unfortunately I'm gay. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, oh. That's weird. <laughs> but like, oh no, because I'm so surprised and I'm crushed because to me that means I can't be in my relationship anymore. And that means that I kind of have to start telling people, like I gotta tell people, especially him. <laughs> but I also feel free. It's late fall. I walk from the cold outdoors into a warm room full of kegs. There's a DJ, my friends, and about 80 other people in the room who are all women and non-gender conforming folks. And I look around, I feel this swelling in my heart and just all the way out to all of my extremities. And I think, could this be my life? At the end of, oh, I feel, yeah, I just feel so comfortable. Um, I feel like myself, and that's new for me in a room of people. So at the end of the night, one of the women I've been speaking with asks if she can walk me to my car. I'm like, yeah. And then she asks if she can kiss me. And I'm like, oh, like I'm, I'm sober? I didn't drink that night, I'm sober. I am possibly gonna kiss a woman, like sober for the first time, that's wild. I say yes, we kiss. For a moment I'm hesitant, and then I think, uh oh, okay, yes. Because then I realize that that's that.